What is going on guys? Welcome back to another installment of the Top 100 Courses series. Today we're taking a look at Tomahawk Valley Country Club. It's a par 72, easiest difficulty, 7400 yards, almost 7500 yards I guess from the back tees. So fairly long course compared to what we've been playing. Uh, 1.2k plays, 4.5 stars. So holding out some hope for this one and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done uh, done one of these, and I've been uh, trying to make some time for it. Been pretty busy lately, but th the point is, is that uh, we're doing them. We're we're back and uh, gonna try and do at least once a week, if not twice, because uh, these are really really fun to do for me personally, and I know some of you guys really enjoy them as well. So making a conscious effort to do that. But uh, yeah, let's get into it here. Got uh, on the first tee, par five, 561. Kind of a winding fairway here. We got some water right. Quite a bit of bunker action going on on the left. So not the easiest tee shot. Uh, maybe we'll cut a little corner here. Yeah, it looks like we can do that. Kind of take it over those bunkers. Downwind. Nice here. Missed that tree, so it's exactly what we wanted there. Kind of threading the needle. Big, big, wide open fairway. Actually, it didn't look that wide from the uh, from the yardage book that we had there. So that's nice, and a huge green as well with a lot of slope coming towards the pin. So this is a pretty easy pin placement to take advantage of. Uh, it is downwind though, so it's going to be kind of a tricky shot. Might be worth hitting a 5-wood and uh, just going right at it, more or less. A little bit left, maybe, if we're going to do that. Might not make it all the way up, but we're going to have a pretty easy chip. No, it's going to be really good, actually. Could have taken it a little bit more at the pin there. I guess uh, we didn't really account for the fact that we weren't going to probably get it there, so... Just kind of saw the green sloping the way it did. But we have a pretty makeable 20-footer for Eagle. And uh, this would be a nice way to start it off, to be honest. So Left to right, Let's see how fast these greens are. We'll put a pretty good roll on that, actually. We didn't uh, give away the hole, and we definitely had enough to get it there. So that was an encouraging putt to start it off. We're going to tap in for birdie, pretty much. One under through one. Pretty straightforward opening hole. The driving was a little bit of a, a little bit of a testy driving hole, but uh, the downwind really made it easy to cut that corner and carry those bunkers, which uh, <clears throat> we probably could have done anyways, but... Obviously, uh, that that always helps. So, this one's a little bit more into the wind. We got a par four, yeah, four eighteen. Pretty severe dog leg right. Not a lot of room to miss or cut the corner on the right here either. And with this wind, I'm not even going to try and deal with that. The fairway slopes kind of this way anyway. So, as long as we get it to that top of that hill, we should have a decent chance of uh, getting it around this dog leg. Looks like we're going going to anyways. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Get it down that hill. We're well around that dog leg. Almost like a 90 degree dog leg, really. So. Got a, uh, a 9 iron into this green. Could mess with some of the slope here. Does kind of go this way to the right. So we could do that as well. Hit it a little higher. And a little spinny, high and spinny. And we'll try this. We'll hit it a little slow. That might actually not hurt us though. Yeah, good execution there. Like that, the 
slight cut that we hit didn't really hurt us, so that, 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 that's always nice. 10-footer for the birdie. Makeable 10-footer for sure. A little bit of left to right. A little downhill. Not too downhill, though. Pot appears to be online. Just kind of feather that in there. Pretty quick greens, actually. I like the speed. Right off the bat, that's uh, that's something that I like so far a lot, actually, is the speed. And very, very detailed in terms of uh, the planting and stuff going on. The use of grass right there and the different trees and stuff like that. It does really pop. I guess this is like the autumn theme, looks like anyways. And it's quite nice, actually. Look, I'm playing a nice fall round of golf right now. We got a par four, number three, 439. Pretty insane second shot over quite a big body of water. So doesn't look like we're going to have to hit a three wood though. Should be okay with the driver. I think we're going to want, we're going to want the most distance we can get at 439 or whatever it is. And we slice that, but the wind uh, will help us out there. And that actually works out okay, playing the slice. Was a good one. Pretty aggressive uh, line because of the slice, but it worked out. And we got uh, 110 to the pin. Pretty easy pin placement once again. Could see this being difficult if it was back here or something, but getting lucky so far with the pin placements. I think we're going to try and hit this high and spinny as well. Maybe not quite a full swing. Uh, it's still got 100% power on that. Kick left. If that bites, it'll be good. Yeah. Got it to bite. Okay, we're on the Pulled it just a little bit. If we didn't pull that, that would have been really good. Pin high, so can't complain about that. 18 feet for the birdie. A little bit of right to left and then left to right. It's kind of a double breaker. It's going to go quite a bit more at the end, though, to the right, so... Played out there a little bit. Ooh, that picked up some speed. Wow. Solid birdie putt there. Love making those. Those ones are never, uh, never for sure. Obviously, I mean, put the put a really good roll on that. That picked up quite a bit of speed, actually. So it's a good thing we hit uh, the pin dead center because that was uh, looking like it might blow by a little bit. Got our first par three. Number four is 192 yards. Pretty long par three. Would expect that. Not really long, but fairly. It's about what I would expect for a almost 7,500 yard golf course like we're playing. And small little green. So the smallest green so far. It's a pretty nice par three, actually. Very tough. Look at the bunkers. I don't know if I can get a view of them. The bunkers are protecting the front of the green quite well. Uh, we got water. So pretty intimidating tee shot for 192 yards as well. Play a little draw, five iron in there. And hopefully the wind holds it up a little bit. I like the shape on this, nice little draw. A little slow, that's not gonna help us. Heading for the bunker, I think. So we're in this uh, tough little bunker here. Not really what we wanted, but this is a pretty flat line, so we might be able to get this pretty close. If we didn't, if we didn't hit that slow, that probably would have went in. So we'll take that. It's a great up and down for par. Fairly stress-free. That was probably one of the best spots to be if we weren't going to hit the green in terms of being in the bunker, anyways. Let's let this fly here that was definitely on one of the best uh, areas to be uh, if you're short. So, got a pretty short part four here, number five, 327. Wind off the right. And definitely drivable. Uh, a little bit of a false front as you get towards the middle of the green there, as you can see. So, it's kind of a tough pin placement actually for this. But still in a very flat spot. So, a lot of these greens have these big flat spots in them relatively flat so it's very fair in terms of that and the speed of the greens is actually what makes it uh, kind of challenging I think so I, I do like that picking their spots with uh, how to make the uh, the greens 
play a little tougher. And this is going to be in the bunker probably. Gave it a really good run there actually. But that's fine. I'm not going to not go for it. I mean, 327 yards. Got to go for that. Another pretty straightforward bunker shot here. Hit a little slow again. But that's going to check up pretty well for us. So got a pretty uh, pretty good look at par here. Or birdie here. Pardon me. Par four. Nice and easy up and down. Right, right off the bat, just dialed in with the uh, the speed. So this course is definitely fitting uh, fitting my eye that way. Anyways, on a number six is a par four, pretty straight away, 472. Wind off the right once again, and quite a big slope in the fairway here. Another kind of testy driving uh, hole. A lot of these large fairway bunkers or bunkers just beside the fairway are pretty much within range, but for us, because we drive it so far, we can just carry it, so it'd be nice to get this down the hill. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with the wind off the right. It's going to hold it up a little bit and make it spin a little more, but we'll take it down the right side here and hopefully don't pull it. Well, this drive's looking okay. Yeah, so that bunker not in play at all, but like I said, Kind of intimidating off the tee when you have to carry bunkers that are 280, 290 yards away. We're able to do it, luckily, if we're not into the wind, but can definitely make for an intimidating uh, tee shot, especially if you have a good round going and you just want to get one out there uh, in a decent position. So got 153 yards to the pin, wind off the right, 10 miles per hour. Got a little slope up the back here. Might be able to use this to our advantage, I think. Hit it a little higher, a little spinny. Mm, maybe not that spinny, yeah. Try and use this to our advantage. We'll take it way out over here. Oh, we hit it slow. Uh, this, this could go anywhere. Yeah, this is a tough call. Not sure where this will go. Just going to miss on the left. Short left. Not the best place to miss, actually, because of the false front. But it looks like we should be able to hit a nice little splash. I hope. Yeah, lob wedge splash. That's nice. Ooh, didn't hit it as hard as we needed to, actually. So our first really tough par putt we've had. Slight double breaker, I guess. Nothing too crazy, actually. Getting there. At first glance, I thought it was going to be a lot tougher. A but we're in for the par, so we're four under through six. We're cruising. Par Playing some solid, solid golf right now. Try and keep it one. going. On to uh, number seven, another uh, kind of intimidating par three. 150 yards. The trees just really pop so well in this course. Big fan of the, uh, the autumn course template and the way that they've used these uh these na uh, native trees and stuff have kind of nestled the red and yellow amongst the green looks really nice and this is a sucker pin so we're gonna hit this take an extra club hit it really high spin it it's 11 miles per hour straight into the wind though so this is kind of a testy shot Probably the toughest shot we've had. The wind is swallowing that. Oh man. That's yeah, right. the wind just swallowed practice. that. You might need a club or two extra from here. This is really deep. Just hit it a little too high. Ooh, that's not a great shot either. So we're running into some problems here. Looks like we're going to probably have to... Okay, bogey putt coming Yeah, I'm probably going to take a double on this hole. Which is unfortunate because we've been playing so well. Because I jinxed myself, but... 24 feet. I don't even know. 
Right edge, I guess. Speed is really good. I think. Oh, he just dropped that in. So that's a <laughs> quite a good up and down for Bogey. I will take that. We're rolling the rock really well, so just got to hit the ball a little closer to the pin. This wind is definitely playing some some tricks on us, but. Another tough driving hole here. This is a big par 5, 6 11. And kind of a split up fairway here once again. This bunker is very much in play, as you can obviously see. Gonna hope that the wind hit this pretty straight and the wind pushes it over to that other side of the fairway there, but we'll see what happens. As long as we don't hit it uh, with a slice, nice and that's gonna just barely get there. Really threading the needle there. So we've been pretty good off the tee as well. It's yeah, just uh, a the few end. shots around the green, really. Uh, like that last one, not even around the green, but a few little pitch shots like that one. And then obviously the the very, very unfortunate bounce that we got with the wind as well. So let's uh, rip a driver off the deck here. Yeah, like that. Little low cut off the deck. You must be feeling lucky. Taking driver off. Hit that as well as we possibly could have. Get up there. Get up there. Green's just barely out of reach, but look how big and flat this green is once again. So you can see, continuing with the theme, these pins, a lot of them are just on the flat part of the green. There's a lot of ridges, but they're... Um, I shouldn't say a lot of ridges, but there there are quite pronounced ridges in the green, but these pins don't really put them into play at all. So I'd imagine this course could play a lot tougher with a certain pin setup if they put like Sunday pins or whatever on it. So keep that in mind maybe if we ever play this again. Spin the crap out of this. Pitching wedge, nine iron. Let's spin the crap out of the nine iron. Oh, just too much. Wow. Missed opportunity there. Burn the edge. I don't think that would have went in anyways, well, unless we split the cup, but got this left for the birdies. So, yeah, this is a pretty easy putt. Can't complain too much. We've made a couple really impressive putts so far, but. Oh, we're going to burn the edge. Oh, my God. I just got to stop uh, tooting my own horn here, I guess. No, we made some really solid putts so far, so we won't let that get to us too much. Would have been nice to get that stroke right back. Almost made eagle and then almost made birdie, so that's always a little disheartening. But easy tap in par. Under number nines, par four, 466. Pretty tough second shot, it looks like. This is going to be right into the wind, too, for the off the tee. Try and hit this straight, pull it a little bit. A lot of water on this course, actually, for uh, an easiest difficulty course. It's not uh, super, super forgiving. And like I said, if they put the Sunday pins on this, could end up playing pretty tough with this kind of wind, too. I mean, up to 12 or 11 miles per hour, possibly into your face a lot of the time, too. It's not, not the easiest, so. So we did learn our lesson, I think, from the last one. And we're going to try and hit this a little higher, but hopefully the wind doesn't absolutely annihilate this like it did the last time. No, that's exactly what we needed. Nothing wrong with that. Safely on the green. Here's a Just a little right. Pin high, though. 17 feet for the birdie, right to left. And it's a little uphill. One of the tougher putts we've had, I think. It could be a good one. Get in there. Oh. Well, it didn't quite get there, did it? Just gonna leave it sh yeah, just short left. We just gave away the hole a little too much. We're in for a three under thirty-three on the front nine. Could have easily been like five or six under, but try and make up some more strokes on the back. I really want to get that bogey off the. Uh, or make up for that bogey, I should say. I'd love to get it off the card, but that's not going to happen, obviously. And we're under number 10. It's par 4, 362. Uh, once again, you know, sticking with the theme, 
A lot of bunker in play here. Bunkers, whatever. I guess it's like one giant bunker. But yeah, a lot of sand in play <laughs> off the tee. And uh, I think we can be pretty aggressive with this, actually. Given the wind. As long as we don't hit it too slow, which we did. Yeah, if we didn't hit that slow, that probably would have worked out okay. But we ended up actually getting a little lucky with that patch of grass there. I'm going to pull the crap out of that. Nice. But we're on the green in regulation, so can't get too mad. Approach shot worked out just fine. Let's see how you do here. We have got to look at birdie. Long putt ahead of us. 38 feet. But... See how this goes. Go a little more than that. Very downhill, so didn't want to hit that too hard. Still didn't give it enough to get there, but you know what? That's a great lag putt considering the circumstances. That's all I was really trying to do. Just kind of lag it in there, and uh, we did that pretty well. So we'll take the par on that one. Cut our losses after that uh, that tee shot. We kind of tried to get too aggressive. It didn't really work out too well. But uh, here's a tough par 3 again. So the par 3s are really tough on this course, I find. Small little greens, they're all pretty long. This one's really long, 245. If this was into the wind, this could be playing upwards of like 250, 260 maybe. So thankfully it's not completely into the wind. The wind's not helping at all, obviously, either. But uphill too, so uh, not really uphill. But it is downhill from where we are, but it's a tough uh, up and down if we do come up short here I think so pins in a pretty flat spot though once again so we can take advantage of that and let's try and hit a massive cut into this wind Keep track of this one. oh nice. no I thought we hit that pretty well okay from the green side sand hopefully we get up and down so the easily the, the worst bunker to be in worst spot of the bunkers to be in no question about that. Just spin forward a little bit. Nice little kick. Release. Very nice. So. That's some good execution there. Gonna pour that in for the par. So another tough up and down for par. So we haven't made a birdie since the fifth hole. Wow. After uh, four birdies in five holes, we uh, have not been able to make one. On to uh, number 12 is a par five, 518. Pretty straight away. Yeah, very straight away. Well, not very, but straight away, mostly. And we're starting to hit him slow. So we gotta adjust for that. Get a good kick, come on. Not there. So more pretty, uh, more, more pretty big fair, fairway bunkers there. So those are starting to come into play more and more for us here on this back nine. But this shouldn't hurt us too much. Better shot there. Stay in the fairway. Oh, so the fairway just slopes off, and then look at this big slope in front of the green. This might be one of the toughest holes so far. So it seems like some of these holes are getting a little tougher as we're going along here. But that's okay. We're, uh, we're not playing bad, so can't let it get away from us. We've only made one bogey. Spin. Oh, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Mm, it's fun. That was well played. Took a little hop and then spun, which is fine. Kind of what we needed, actually. We kind of needed a little one hopper. Got nine feet for the birdie, I think. So, take that. Turn. Ooh, that had a lot of pace on it. But we're back in the uh, in the red 
on the back nine, or at least from throughout the last uh, five, six holes there, or whatever. And uh, this is a sweet view off the tee, number 13, par four, 429. Once again, another little bunker in play here, so just daring you. And this little cut of rough, this little kind of triangle looking thing, this actually plays it, makes it play a lot tougher because if you do hit this tree or barely get through it, you can get caught up in that, so. Visually, I don't know, it's probably not that big of a deal, but visually, when you look at that, it just makes it seem like it's a tougher shot than it actually probably is, so. Um, I think because of the, yeah, because we're so far elevated, we should be able to carry this. Let's just try and be a little more aggressive here. Put a good swing on this. Hitting it so slow now. I think I'll take that tee shot. That'll work out really well, thankfully, but kind of, uh, unknowingly played to uh, our shot shape that we've been hitting the last couple holes there so that worked out all right elevated green so the elevation is starting to come into play a little bit more the last few holes than it had been it's pretty flat course before this is a tiny little green but the pin's kind of at the bottom of like a little bowl here as long as you're not long right center here you're probably pretty good A little more club. Don't want to do that. Don't want to fade it that much. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we just can't hit it. Not slow. Wow. Heading for some trouble. Get the pace up and please go down to the bottom. Thank God. Oh, we're gonna get stuck on the Fellow lip of the bunker there, or close right. to the lip there. That would have been a pretty terrible lie. Third shot. We got this. Uh, for the get up and down for the par. This is where the feather. Oh, just yeah, stuck though. Work from there. Looking at I tried to feather it in there, but just here. stuck. Eleven feet left to right. Let's make no mistake on this. We've been having a good day with the putter. Getting there. Okay, moving on. I mean, granted, these aren't the toughest putts, a lot of them. We've made one, that bogey putt was uh, not the easiest read, but a lot of these are pretty easy reads, and the speed has been, like I said, fit in my eye. So, on to number 14, 141 yards, one of the easier par threes, believe it or not, that we've played, especially with the ridge behind the pin here. So, this is actually not a tough shot. We just got to execute here. Kind of in between clubs for us, but it is pretty downhill, so I can use this ridge. I hope we can get it there. Let's not hit it slow. Yeah, I'd rather hit it a little fast than slow at this point. Might be a little bit long. Let's see what happens. It sits. It'll be really nice. Yeah. Got a little, Getting little kick forward, but road. nothing crazy. So that was one of the easiest par threes on the course. Par threes have been pretty challenging, like I said, for the most part. So that's something... Uh, to note about this course for sure. This putt's going. We'll take our birdie there. That's a good birdie. So we're five under through 14. And, five under. and uh, let's try and close it out strong. But uh, overall impressions of the course, it's quite, uh, quite nice to look at, like aesthetically. It's very playable, pretty realistic for the most part. It's a very tough hole as well. Lots of water. Um, really... Uh, Really a fun course to play, even though it's not the biggest challenge. Even with this wind, I can imagine, like I said a couple of times already about the pins, if they change some of the pin placements and stuff, it would definitely uh, play a lot harder. So hopefully this doesn't run out of the fairway. Stay. Oh, just about as far as we can go without running out. And uh, yeah, 15 is a par 4, 457. Very nice par 4, actually. This is a tough hole. There's the back pin that I've been looking for. Most of the pins, like a lot of these greens, like I said, they have one or two really big slopes in them, and then they flatten out on the different tiers pretty much most of the time. So most of these pins in, on a green like this have been either here or here or something. So we've got our first back pin where we actually got to get it up the slope. So if we're short, we're going to have to putt up quite a big slope, something we haven't had to really do a whole lot. 
We've been ending up pin high quite a bit though too, so that's been nice. This is a pitch shot, okay. If we get it up there, let's try. Wind's pushing, wind's pushing. Bite though. Mm. Better luck next time. Not the greatest execution, but it's okay. Can probably chip this in though. Good chance of chipping this in. Let's see if we can get this up the hill here. Go in. Nice little chip oh yeah, we birdie. couldn't have played that, that much was, better. That was, that was a fine job. Good chip in for birdie, and uh, we're up to six under now. So starting to really uh, close this out strong. Under number sixteen, five sixty-eight. Tough hole, par five. I hope. Yeah. Downwind though. And now we're getting into some real detail here with the waterfall. This fairway is actually quite cool. I like the, the fairways on this course. They're not super um, undulated, but they're quite large. But there is some risk reward uh, with them most of the time. Like most of the time, there's at least one bunker in play. So pull that a little bit, stay in the fairway. Oh yeah, we're gonna use that slope to our advantage. Yeah, there's a lot of risk reward with the fairways. They're quite large though, so if you do miss your spot, we've been forgiven a couple times for hitting the slice and stuff like that. But uh, I, I like it. It's it's realistic enough that it's uh, it's, it makes it interesting. I think. Very playable course, it is. And no matter what skill level, I think you could have fun with this course. Whether you're just starting out or uh, you play this game a lot or whatever, so. That's a nice five wood if that stops rolling, come on. Played that pretty well. We managed to squeeze a lot of yards out of that five wood. It was downwind, but. Managed to do pretty well to get it uh, past the hole. 17 feet for the eagle. Let's make an eagle. That'd be nice. Not an easy par 5 either. This would be a good one to eagle. Yeah, we'll play that out too much. Oh, man. Knew as soon as I hit that that we just played that out a little too much, but we got an easy putt for birdie here. Make no mistake on that. So three birdies in a row, four in our last five. Stringing them together, we're seven under through 16. We're on to number 17, which is a par four. Five, sorry, 458. I swear I'm dyslexic sometimes when it comes to the reading these. And uh, once again, just bunkers in play mostly so far we could carry a lot of them in the first uh, nine holes but the back it's uh, been a little different story so great swing a little slow that shouldn't hurt us actually just gonna catch the fairway there so a couple close calls with that uh we've been hitting fairways pretty well but a few close calls small little green here but flat uh, uphill. This is a cool looking shot. I like the looks of this. Wind off the left. So we will adjust accordingly. This uphill too. So let's hit this well. Ooh, why'd that fly so far? That was like a flyer. That just flew. Safely on the green. Got 42 feet for the birdie here. Double breaker. Quite the putt. Just try and lag it in there. Oh, slow down. So we put a little too much sauce on that. And here we go. Power putt coming up. But we got a. Seven footer for par, so not the worst lag putt ever. This putt's tracking. Boom. Hit that a little hard too for uphill. I was surprised that it took off like it did, but seven under through seventeen. Can't complain about that. 
keep you at seven under for the round. And on to the closing hole number 18. One of the most straight up holes on the course. 448, par four. So another little green separated by water. Pretty much water in play on every hole in this course. So depending on what tees you're playing from and where the wind is at, it could be could be not the easiest. It's the greens that kind of make it a little easier, but the speed is also pretty solid. It's not they're not slow. Not slow uh slow greens at all, so great contact. Definitely uh overall very fun. Enjoying it. That's all we needed, just a little fairway finder there. 150 yards to the pin from here. 149 to the pin. 12 mile per hour wind off the left. One of the craziest winds we've had to deal with so far. Pins in the back right, kind of up on that ridge, so we definitely don't want to be short. Let's bring it home with a good shot. If I hit that slow, that might actually help us. Ooh, we're heading for the green here. Yeah, that's going to sit really nice. So, About as good as we can do from there, I think. Maybe, well, maybe not quite, but I mean, given the circumstances with the wind and everything, and we didn't hit it perfect either, so, which might actually help, like I said, because we still managed to be 11 feet right. Pin high, though, and we got a birdie putt. Left to right. Let's make this. Just going to catch the left edge. So we're in for the 8 under 64. It's a 33, 31. Pretty solid round there. Not the toughest course, like I said. But given wind, pin placements, uh, the tees you're playing from. I mean, it's a pretty long course. It's 7,400 yards, like I alluded to in the beginning. So very fun uh, overall to play. 78% fairways, 66% greens, so we didn't actually hit as many greens in regulation as it felt like for the amount of birdies we made, but there's a quick look at the card. So we did run the table on the back and went bogey free, five under, five birdies. Always nice, so definitely took advantage of that. I feel like it kind of got a little harder on the back too, at least some of the tee shots and stuff, so we did well to do, to do that uh, on the back. And uh, yeah, Tomahawk Valley Country Club. Check it out, guys. It's definitely uh, one of the more playable courses, I think, in terms of the user-created courses. There, it's just there's enough stuff in play. There's enough water in play. It's, I think it's just challenging enough, no matter what skill level you're at. Obviously, we kind of ripped it up uh, on the back today, but I mean, given a couple shots, we could have easily been closer to even par and given up a few more strokes. And you know, as we as you saw in the par three, we missed short, put it in the water. Par threes were pretty challenging throughout this course, so very very fun. And uh, I would definitely encourage you guys to check it out. It's only got 1.2k plays, so worth a shot, anyways. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.